I'm Katherine Spitznagel with Caterpillar. Grateful to be here today as a 10-year survivor of breast cancer. Um, I was diagnosed with ductal uh, breast cancer, stage three, um, through a mammogram. Um, so I had a mastectomy on the left side, 14 lymph nodes removed, um, nine were cancerous. So we knew then it, we needed to be very aggressive in treatment because the cancer was very aggressive. And so um, started chemo just a few weeks after surgery, did do reconstructive surgery, so had five more surgeries, um, four months of chemo, 33 radiation treatments, those of you that, that know that, uh, know that's the, that's the magic number, 33. Um, and then I'm in, still in treatment. They told me after mammogram and sonogram and biopsies, if I had missed that mammogram, I wouldn't have lived to have another one. And it was, it was hard. And what Scott and I figured out, my husband, was that for each bit of information, we had to process it separately and then come together as a couple and process it and then figure out how we're going to tell our boys and then you know, talk beyond that. How are we going to tell parents, mm -hmm. extend family, that, that uh, sort of thing. And um, yeah, telling the boys was going to be very difficult. I don't know that I ever asked uh, why me, but I ask what's next. And uh, Shay, our oldest one, was graduating from high school. Uh, his graduation was after my first chemo. And um, two people helped me in because I really wasn't standing very well. And I thought, okay, Lord, I need to be looking at this in terms of small milestones and not you know, years out, because immediately that's what you think. I want to see them married. I want to see grandchildren. I want to, you know, um, my focus became uh, much smaller. Okay. I want to see him graduate in six days. My most vivid memory is just the depth of thoughtfulness and caring of people. Uh, when I speak to other survivors, I'll often begin the talk by saying, if you want to see the depth of love and caring and compassion in this world, show up with cancer. Because it's, it's amazing. People you don't know uh, that, that reach out, that want to come along with you on that journey, help your family. And that's another wonderful gift of cancer. And that's another thing I talk about. What are the gifts? What are the blessings? And one of the gifts of cancer is, is courage. And you think, yeah, I'll take that on. I really learned to take one day at a time, which is very difficult for me, and also just relish everything in that day. Um, of course, my God, who's gotten me through all of this, uh, wouldn't be here, uh, wouldn't be standing here without him. I'm a walking miracle, and I, I know that. Um, Ten years still in treatment. Uh, so I'm, I'm most grateful for that. Also, friends and family around me. Um, grateful to Caterpillar for the different opportunities I've had. Uh, there is a fear sometimes when you're diagnosed with cancer that, is this a career ender? or am I gonna become the cancer girl? And uh, Caterpillar didn't treat me that way at all. Uh, they kind of said, you were you know, strong, you are tough, you made it through that journey, and creative, and so we're gonna use all those same skills over here. There are a million people uh, to thank. Certainly thank uh, you know, my husband, who was my rock uh, through all of this. You know, he was running a business, you know, he had a career too. And he really uh, was just my rock, my stability. Uh, he has a tremendous sense of humor. And he really led uh, me and our family 
to accept this, to be positive about it. And I, I remember um, at one point when I was really, uh, I was hospitalized a lot with chemo. Um, and at one point when I'd come home again, getting ready for the next one, I said, honey, I think this thing could really get me. What are we gonna do? And he said, well, we're gonna get through the next 10 minutes. And then we're gonna get through the next 10. And pretty soon we're gonna get through an hour, and then a day, and then the next. And when we're on the other side of this, we're gonna be right here together where we belong. I am Katherine Spitznagel, and I am more than pink. <laughs>